vinyl community, yes, Derek 3 has arrived in Seattle. And uh, very happy that it has. I received this actually a couple nights ago. I think it was Tuesday night. Um, and I plan to listen to it. Um, I opened it up that night to take a look at it. Couldn't wait to get my hands on it and just have it in my hands and look at it. Uh, but I just didn't feel... I just didn't feel like listening to it. Um, and it was one of those things that I didn't want to listen to it if I wasn't ready and, and in, in the right mind to listen to it. And this morning, uh, it's Thursday morning, it's been my Saturday, and uh, I was very, uh, very much in the mood to put it on and listen to it. Um, and I'm glad because it's a. I, I watched Derek's post where people were saying that it was a little slow to get into. Uh, honestly, uh, you know, side one, Morning I Rise. Well, I didn't wait till this morning because the first song is called Morning I Rise. I really didn't look at the title track, titles at all of the listings that much. I um, just wanted to wait until I was ready to listen to it and then give it my full attention. Um, but I put it on this morning and the whole album, side one to side two, it was just a great album to start your day with. I put it on went to the kitchen made my tea uh, made some breakfast sat in here listened to it the rest of the way through I just it was just great music whether I was standing in front of the, uh, the speakers listening to a track or two or if I was in the kitchen uh, wherever I was in the house hearing this music it was great uh, I, I loved it I really did I liked every single song um, and I I um, I didn't quite know what to expect. I, I hadn't listened to any of the tracks on Bandcamp. I wanted to wait um, and listen to it right off of the vinyl. And, you know, I'm kind of glad I did because now I associate it with kind of a, a, a morning. This is going to be going to be morning music to me. Um, it could very easily be late evening music to sit back and relax to. Yeah, I, I could have put this on and been very, very relaxed in the evening and listened to it, but um, this to me was just great, easy, you know, nice, relaxing morning, exactly what I needed. So this went well with it. Um, so that was my experience listening to your album. Um, you could very easily put it on in the evening and have a, a similar experience listening to it, just relaxing. And, and uh, so uh, for me, very successful. Good for you. Um, I'm very happy with it. The vinyl, wow, I'm so glad I got the red vinyl because, as I've said before, and I'll say it again, everything sounds better on colored vinyl. <laughs> uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful color of red. Um, beautiful piece of vinyl to look at and to watch spinning around on your turntable. table. Love the artwork on the labels. Um, I've apologized for being a little stuffed up and a little sinus in. Allergies are hitting me and I'm trying to hit them back and so I'm kind of suffering a bit from that. I apologize. <clears throat> this is the third time of making this <laughs> clip. The first one wasn't didn't go too bad but I forgot something and I, I wanted to bring it up. In fact let me let me before I go on I don't want to forget about it. As I said I liked every single song on this as well. I do have one criticism of it and this is just as me as a listener. I, I like all the songs on it. The only problem I had was the last song on side two. It just seemed to me, listening to it, seemed out of place. I'd heard the song um, on the Bandcamp site, one of your EPs, and I thought to myself, I heard that. Where have I heard that? And I had to go back to Bandcamp and find it. And uh, so I knew I'd heard this before. It just seemed out of place. I like the song. It just seemed out of place with all the rest of the tracks on this album. Um, it's there, it's, it's your decision, and I'd be curious to know your thoughts about the track lineup, uh, especially that song, why it was placed there, why it was included in this album. Um, because to me, it doesn't seem like it really fits. Uh, I, I would have been happy with another track, or even leaving that track off. Again, I like the track a lot. It, 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 I'd heard it before and I liked it. But on here, it just seemed to be like a, hmm, odd way to end the album so anyway that's my personal opinion we're all entitled to one but that doesn't diminish my enthusiasm for this album and um, that I will be uh, 
definitely recommending it to people, sending people to Man Camp to listen to your music. So, um, number 73 of the Reds, 73 out of 81, I just snuck in there under the wire. So glad I did. Uh, the only other number I would have wanted would have been 81 to have had the last red vinyl. That would have been kind of cool. So whoever's got that, lucky person, I think. The uh, inserts, terrific, great. The additional insert that I got, very cool, and it sent me down a little, a little treasure hunt, so to speak. And this is the booklet for the rarities um, compilation for the Digital Sex Band. I've heard Digital Sex mentioned on a couple of posts. Didn't really make connection with it uh, until I started looking in here and realizing it was a band you were in. I think I kind of knew that, but I wasn't 100% sure. Um, so in fact, there you are, right there. Um, so of course I had to do some exploration on my own and, and do a little digging. And so first things first, I went to allmusic.com, which is my go-to place to find out about a band when I'm not sure anything about them. They had a skeletal listing for digital sex. I mean, it just, no biography, no history, nothing. It, it listed two releases, I think, and then under dis, or under uh, compilations and live recordings, it listed this album. What was nice about that was this album, they had all the tracks and they had sound samples. So I was able to click and listen to the sound samples and it sounds really cool. And it's definitely, a, it's got that great 80s sound to it. Uh, Derek, it was easy to, to, you know, hear your influence, your signature sound on a lot of the tracks. Uh, it was also easy because it had your name next to it. But even within the songs that were co-written with you and, and your other band members, uh, I could hear you in there. So. Uh, definitely going to look for this uh, CD. There are a few up online, a few available online here and there, but I'm going to try to find it an, at another time. Uh, right now, the prices are, it's a tough album, tough CD to find, uh, apparently, and it's you know long out of print. So I'm definitely going to be looking for it. Um, and when I find it and get it uh, at a price that is affordable for me, because there's some out there that are like, I think one was going, it was still sealed for like 35 bucks. It's a little pricey for me right now, but um, I'm looking forward to finding this eventually and giving it a good listen because it's, you know, the sound samples I heard were just terrific. So that was a nice surprise. But this, like I said, took me on a tour of the web looking for information on digital sex. And um, I went to a few websites. One site had a really good history of digital sex, uh, including their, you know, uh, releases um, even had links to other people's uh, web pages I might send you a link to this page because under your name they had several links one went to uh, a bad link that went to another page that is now owned by someone else I think they may not have your Bandcamp link and it might be a good place to put it up um, I'll try to get that address uh, PM to you so uh, you can, if you want to, update that information on that site. But uh, from there, uh, I thought to myself, well, maybe this is on your Bandcamp site. Because I remember going to it and seeing it, I really didn't look through all of the um, all of the releases you had there. So I went there and didn't have this. But then I was there, I started listening to everything else that was on Bandcamp, uh, on your Bandcamp site. And um, I... Uh, started doing a lot of listening to everything. What was great about the Bandcamp site is it's not just 30 second samples. You can listen to the whole album. You hear the whole song and the whole album all the way through uh, without having to literally pay for it. But um, I was more than happy to pay for and download five items. I picked up the digital of Derek 3. I definitely wanted that. Um, picked up Nice, which I really, really liked the Nice album. Uh, unless it's unless it's you're talking about the city in France, in which case that would be Nice. But I'm assuming it's nice. I don't know. Might be Nice. Uh, the Derek Two EP. That was that's that's a fun EP. I really like that EP a lot. I think that's the one that I think that's the one where the um, lead off track. Great song. Sounds fantastic. I think wow, great great tapes. And then track two came on, and it's. Definitely a needle drop. Your vinyl and track three is needle drop. Track four is needle drop. That's really cool. And I went back to track one and listened to it. I said, oh, I wish track one was a needle drop too, but it's not. Um, that doesn't, you know, take away. It would just been a need if it had been all needle drop from the vinyl. That would 
to have all that vinyl artifacting in there to make it kind of a historical kind of um, digital upload, which is kind of cool. Uh, and the other, the other two items I picked up were um, Derek Two, which I enjoy a lot, and then just the, the one the album called Derek, the black and white cover that's uh, just called Derek. And that album I like quite a bit. That's really, really a good album. I, I would I'd love to see a lot of these come out on vinyl, especially that one. Um, so I've got these. I wanted to have some Derek with me on a road trip I'm taking here in the near future. And so I can have you digitally on my iPod playing in my car as I'm driving along. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, so yeah, um, thank you so much. I'm glad I snuck in under the wire and, uh, and was able to get in, uh, get involved in the purchase of not only just the red, but just to have a copy of this. This is great. I'm sure the rest of your black vinyl, black vinyl copies will sell out. It's just a matter of time. And I'll certainly be uh, pointing people in the direction of your Bandcamp, Bandcamp website and uh, pushing them in the direction of picking up some great vinyl as well. Um, it would be fun to go up to some local record stores and to say, you know, bring this up to them and say, you might want to stock this, a couple uh, albums of this, and then give them a way to contact you um, on YouTube or uh, if there's a generic email that, or a business email that you've got. That'd be kind of fun to see if they would maybe pick up a couple of your albums and have them in stock. That'd be kind of fun. Uh, anyway, I'll see what I can do about that. I don't know anybody there personally, but I could talk to their vinyl buyer and see what they say. But um, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Looking forward to more in the future. Get to work. Um, <laughs> you've got music to make. And uh, looking forward to hearing it soon. Thank you so much, Derek. Really appreciate it all of your artistic endeavors. Looking for more in the future. Bye.